Oof. What'd you say about Fuji came in and said he'd break down the walls between all the new Japan and Kawada wrestled Sasaki and here's another great heavyweight class right here in Niagoku. She get a hand in. Double team now, what power. <laughs> Another oh. rush in and it is a big splash. Oh man, could do it. Legal man, Inabai. He almost got it done. Inamura rather, Inaba coming in to break it up. Yeah, Inaba was uh, picking his spots. He's the Ken Pitaro of this situation. Very smart. Hungry man. Look at oh, this big. strength. Don't ever forget about the strength of Tomohiro Ishii. With the toughness of Inamura up on his oh. feet. Answers with a body slam and now going. Whoa, Ishii back up. Well, that's a lot of man to get up and he's done it. In a mark, quite the answer. Weeks. Congratulations recently as well, of course, Willow Nightingale for attaining the Strong Oak Boy Tag Team Championship this week. All right, so here we go. Bell sounds. Ridgeway much more of a bare-knuckled fighter to the Tekkers style of Zack Sabre Jr. Ridgeway uh, came into wrestling Noah, wrestling Noah with, of course, his own strong track record in the UK, former Progress World Champion. Counter hold, control of the wrist. Uh oh, got him. No, he doesn't. Ridgeway had that red. And a beautiful sweep as well. And now Ridgeway comes off the rope, swinging a miss with the PK. Fujita wants in. Listen to the cheer for Ichiban, sweet boy. Very interesting to see him go over against Sean Legacy, even though. When we go to Toronto. Well, you know what? His son's uh, near to Wells. Getting in, with, getting in bed with Jay White. Well, he didn't say that his kids weren't rotten, but I'm saying Billy Gunn. Right, that, that only inspires him more to be on the hunt. I think reuniting that great tandem from, from World Tag League. You think Yoshitatsu could fit in the acclaimed? Isn't he the definition of acclaimed? Sizumi Daddy Tatsu. Referee just sensing the shoulders were down. A hush Whoa. has fallen over the crowd. Oh, man. With Yoshitatsu in control. Yeah, was punctuated by that sharp kick. And I think Yoshitatsu feeling a little bit disrespected by Shoto Umino. Made by you here on commentary as well. How dare you? 
highlighted all the great moments of Yoshitatsu. And that one. Umino really felt that one for sure. of a Koji clutch. Maxima was part of Congo for a long time. Koshizaki is like, why? Why are you doing this? We're all together again. Oh. Uh oh. Kobashi style, the chaps, the chops across the chest. And we're going to keep going. Puts him down, two. like a caged beast up on that apron on the red corner side. And now he wants in, but yeah, Kojima saying not right now. Kojima's of course been part of some of the most successful tag teams in history. And knows about having a partner that you can trust, a partner you can rely on. In their careers, for sure. Naira Fuji, four-time GHC heavyweight champion, eight-time GHC tag team champion, a former IWGP junior heavyweight champion as well. Snatches the side headlock, hangs on, delivers the headbutt, cross kick. Oy. Shortstop into the PK attempt. Now Fuji on the uptick of late. Last time he was here in Iogoku, Sumo Hall came up very just short of Jake Lee in the GHC Heavyweight Championship back in May. <laughs> yeah. Zagiera tagged in and Brenda Rita tagged in. I think Naruto in any room he'll go after the guy with the biggest tough guy credentials that there is. And here on this team, it's Sugiura. Sugiru himself, four times GHC heavyweight champion. And a nine time tag team champion as Narita. Gets that half hatch. Nicely done right up on his nose. Get My goodness. So, Renderita, El Desperado, Minoru Suzuki having success earlier this year. Who would have thought that in the wake of the dissolution of Suzuki Goon by Minoru Suzuki himself, that he would have put together a new trio. Well, he was not on brand. 
he had on his shirt that was covering his bits. And some very small drawers. Sato uh, made, uh, made great friends with Ichiban Street Boy Kosei Fujita at the Star Junior Festival. Gave him a, a present yes. of a naughty video, video DVD, videotape. His collection. And watch out! Uh oh! oh. The big monsters are loose! Saito saying, well, that's enough of that. Let's get rid of our partners as well. Yep. With this mix of All Japan and Gungri of Anarchy and Voodoo Murders here. It's so, yeah, it is so, as you say, on brand for Voodoo Murders to kind of act in this regard. If you know anything about that faction's history in All Japan. Voodoo Murders used to be once much like Bullet Club today, that the home of the disgruntled foreigners. Oh man, oh! Just yes, blasting through the barricade. Yeah. And, well, well, and now that we return to our regularly scheduled programming, I think. Well, maybe not. Out you go. Ray wants to get in. Of course he does. The Saito brothers, twins. Relatively new to the business, but came from the sumo world, That's where they right. were very successful. Much like a figure like Genichiro Tenryu, who did. to that. Oh. Well, the pumping bomber usually puts you down, keep you down. Bushi gets the tag. He's going to have to stick and move here. First part, stick. Drop kick, followed up by the Bushi Rooney. That's the move. That's one of the best. Anzai off the ropes, drop kick to the knee. Uh, wait a second now. Oh, wait a second, here comes Bushi. Naito holding. That's a senior citizen. How dare you? I'm not talking to you. Oh. Poor Tiger. Tiger Kihara taking a tumble thanks to Bushi. Say Watanabe is laughing. How dare you laugh? The poor old man. Uh oh. Could be last ride for Bushi. Oh, and Nagata got in the play with Suama. Oh, stereo. Jobs. They know what to do, the legal man, Suwama, two, Naito breaks it up. Only wants the world champ. Champ as his champ, listen to this. When Jake Lee uh, started in All Japan 2011, Sonata was there. Uh, Jake Lee trained under Muto, but Lee suffered an injury and actually quit the business. Didn't come back until 2015, by which point Sonata had gone over to Wrestle 1 along with Muto. So ships passing in the night were Jake Lee and Sonata. Sonata raised those influences of Keiji Muto. Oh, look, you don't. Oh, I know. No way. Big 
Six foot four, Jake Lee gets leapfrogged with ease. Awesome. Certainly some tense moments for Sonata at Dominion when he was challenged by Yoda Suji. Oh, over the top goes Sonata. Oh, but he's got that leg up. Surely not. Surely not. Surely. Remember how All Star Junior Festival ended, Kevin. That grand celebration, all those, all the All Stars, so to speak, taking that big group photo, and all Aoyagi could do was crawl over. Poor bastard. And give it a thumbs up. You think Aoyagi has held a grudge ever since against Master Wato. <laughs> Aoyagi wins the gear prize. Although, Hayato's gear is pretty sharp. Rising Hayato's gear is different. Uh-oh, wait a second. Taking a break in the corner, Watso quickly closing the distance. <laughs> Snapping kick into the lower back. feels it behooves him as champion to dictate the pace and it's a semi-reluctant tag out. Oh ho! Now after the stairs exchange last night. Well kid, let's see what you can do. The uh, enigmatic 24-year-old standing opposite Hiromu. Those are some pretty big chance for. Hi, Kimia. I'm Okada. I haven't forgot about you, you little bitch. that it was over there the last time when they got into it. They always seem to find us, specifically. Yes. Come on! Well, who would have thought? Kaito Kiyomiya and Okada. <laughs> Triple oh. drop kick, no! We had drama, we've had drama and drama. Oh, oh no! More drama. 
Oh, friendly fire. Oyaki oh, firing up, drop kicks all around. Watch out, there goes Okada. Oh, no, oh, no. Receipt. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. 